So um, last example that I want to make sure that I cover with everybody is when we're, the last example, when we're solving, there's a couple things that we want to go through. There's three things I want you to talk about when we're solving, Colin. The first thing is to undo, when we're solving for x, we have to make sure that we undo the square root. So we're going to have to square. Before, number two, before we can do that squaring, though, you've got to make sure we isolate our square root. And the third thing is once we get into our solving, we have to go ahead and check our answers. So I'm going to kind of work through this problem um, a little bit quickly because I know we're kind of on short time. But if you have questions, please let me know. So the first thing we need to do is we need to isolate our square root of x. So I'm going to subtract a 2 on both sides. So I have the square root of x plus 6 equals x plus 4. Now, to undo the square root, I'm going to square both sides. So the square root, or um, square, squ yeah. <laughs> I know, seriously. The squaring the square root is just going to leave me with x plus 6 equals x plus 4 squared is x plus 4 times x plus 4. If you guys want to do FOIL on your own, you can. I'll just tell you the answer is going to be x squared plus 8x plus 16. All right, again, we're short on time. I don't have time to show you the FOIL. We should know how to get to that point, though, from here. Now, we have to a quadratic. And we're trying to solve for the values of x. If you guys remember, when we were solving for values of x, for quadratics, the first thing we did was set our equation equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract an x, and I'm going to subtract a 6. Therefore, I have 0 equals x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now we have a quadratic equal to 0. And if you guys remember, to solve quadratics is we're going to either use factoring um, or a quadratic formula. Well, so we want to see, is this factorable? Is there any two numbers that multiply to give me 10, but then add to give me 7? 5 and 2. So those are going to be part of my two factors, since a is equal to 1. So 0 equals x plus 5 times x plus 2. Therefore, x plus 5 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0, and x equals negative 5, and x equals negative 2. So therefore, I have two solutions. However, ladies and gentlemen, we need to make sure we double check to make sure our, both of our answers work. So when you're doing quadratics, excuse me, excuse me, sit down, please. So what we're simply going to do is plug these answers back in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just You don't need to be doing anything right now. Let's just look at this, what we're going through. <laughs> you're going to take negative 5 and plug it back in for x. Negative 5 plus 6 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. If you plug in negative 5 plus 6, you get 1. Does 3 equal 1? No. So this is not a solution. If you were to plug it in, negative 2, you will get the correct solution. Now you can put away your work.